Ross here, your expert at all things moving. Today we're going to be talking about a very important topic which includes moving your furniture into a new home. As you know, you would not want any property damage to your brand new house or an apartment, but moving heavy pieces of furniture inside might scratch the floors or do some damage to the walls. So today we're going to present to you nine hacks on moving your furniture successfully without scratching any floors. Let's go. Moving tips. Number one, carry lighter items. When you are moving your items around the house, it will be really beneficial to actually pick up and carry the ones that you can by yourself or with your friend's help. Also make sure to double tape the boxes with heavy and sharp objects so they won't fall out and damage the surface. Number two, measure your furniture. This is a very important step as it might save you a lot of time and nerves. There might be a chance that your big wardrobe or a big couch won't get into your new place in any kind of way. So having everything measured, everything planned beforehand and not doing any unnecessary damage to your new property is a good choice. Ah. Number three, use furniture sliders. Those will come in handy when moving large pieces of furniture or pretty much sliding them through your apartment or house. Having those sliders on the floor will actually protect it from unnecessary damage. And as a good advice, do not pull those big pieces, push them. Number four, use a dolly. Using a dolly really proves useful when moving those large pieces of furniture. When you rent one from the moving place or buy one at a store, make sure that that dolly has rubber wheels, not the metal ones that can accidentally scratch your floor. Number five, wear shoe covers. If you're super serious about protecting your floors from any damage or even dirt for that matter, encouraging yourself and everybody around you on the day of the move to wear shoe covers is really useful. And the good news about it is those are very cheap. Moving tip. Number six, cardboard. Using cardboard if you cannot find or afford furniture sliders really proves beneficial. Just take a cardboard off of couple of heavy duty boxes and put a couple of layers in the most busy traffic area during your move in and move out days. Number seven, use floor runners. This is yet another type of protecting your floors from damage, however a costly one. But in some big cities like New York, the really luxurious buildings require having those at all times during the move-in or move-out process. Those serve as usual furniture sliders, but they are usually made from neoprene or carpeting. Number eight, remove the carpets. Yes, that might seem illogical, but you not only want to avoid the damage of the floors, but the damage to all other surfaces, including carpets. If those are too large and appear problematic to roll up, there are specific carpet protectors. They have the type of material that makes sure to eliminate the risk of slipping. Moving tip. And number nine, using plywood sheets. This is another type of floor protection, pretty much the most expensive of them all, but the most high quality. I can guarantee you 100% that if you're using this type of protection, your floor will not get damaged at all. In conclusion, regardless of the floor protection you choose to have, I urge you to actually purchase it or find it. Making sure that your floors do not get damaged is one of the most useful ways to keep your new home in a brand new condition and or eliminating the security deposit loss. And as always, good luck with your damage-free move. 
Moving Tables.